Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Dan Drew with your weather on demand for UpperMichiganSource.com. This morning we actually started out today with a little bit of fog and it was rather dense in some areas but eventually we will see that sun return to upper Michigan. Probably not going to be until tomorrow, however. And while we are experiencing some relatively cool temperatures after the passage of a cold front, we're actually going to see those temperatures warm up a bit more as we get into the rest of the week. So this morning at the 8 o'clock hour, we are dealing with some showers across central and eastern upper Michigan. That in association with the cold front that is passing to our east, even starting to see some of those showers wrap around on the back side. And you'll also notice some cloud cover in the western UP as well, but we are going to dry out. There is dry air to our west. Unfortunately, it's not going to be until later this evening where we start to see those skies clear out a little bit. Of course, when they do, we're really going to cool off and we'll show you that in just a second as well. We'll put future cast in motion for you this morning and by this afternoon, we start to see a few breaks in those clouds generally in the western UP. Rather thick cloud cover in the eastern UP and not going to be surprised if we continue to see a shower or two. Overnight, we we managed to clear out in many areas, maybe even dealing with some patchy fog developing once again closer to the Lake Superior shoreline. Temperatures really going to drop like a rock overnight, but on the bright side, that sun should stick around all day tomorrow and it should be a beautiful day just a bit on the cool side and we keep that sunshine around as we get into our day on Thursday as high pressure hangs overhead. That means more sunshine. But on the bright side, the difference between Thursday and Wednesday is going to be the temperatures. We're actually going to see those temperatures really warm up as we get into our day on Thursday. Now for the rest of our day today, cool. That is going to be the name of the game and a bit on the gloomy side as well. Temperatures struggling to hit 60 degrees near the Lake Superior shoreline. I think most areas in the west should be just about dry at this point, but as you head more to the east, there are better chances for areas like Marquette, even Escanaba to see a little bit of rain. Temperatures still going to be on the cool side, struggling to hit 60 degrees near the Lake Superior shoreline into the mid 60s over parts of the western interior and maybe 70 degrees if you're lucky, but those areas will be few and far between in the eastern UP once again struggling to hit 60 degrees near the Lake Superior shoreline. The best chances for rain will be in the eastern UP as well. It will take the longest for that rain to work out. Then overnight we will manage to see those skies finally clear out, especially in the western UP, but that's also going to allow temperatures to drop like a rock. Some temperatures could be as low as 40 degrees, maybe even the upper 30s as well. Other temperatures generally in the eastern UP and closer to the Lake Superior your shoreline could be in the low 50s. We'll also be looking for some areas of patchy fog to develop as well. Then for your day tomorrow on the bright side, at least the sun does manage to come out. Temperatures will be very cool. Look at this temperatures ranging from the mid 50s to around the low 70s, so still a bit on the cool side and winds will be a little breezy as well out of the north at about 5 to 12 miles per hour. Your TV six day forecast. We stay dry for Wednesday and Thursday. We finally warm up on Thursday and then by Friday, a a few scattered showers begin to move into the picture and some of those showers could hang around for the 4th of July, but we're still waiting on that forecast to really pan out. Have a wonderful day.